So you want to make top beats, but you have no idea where to start or even how to make them. I might have just the right techniques for you. So make sure you stick around and watch this video to the end. What's going on everybody? My name is CJ aka CJink. And in today's video, I'm going to give you three hacks for making your own top beats. Let's go ahead and define what a top beat is. So the word top beat is used just as a descriptor in the beat making world. As beat selling became popular, it became a way for beat makers and producers online to label their beats and let the people viewing them or looking for them know who they sound like. So before we start real quick, if you are a new producer, producer or you want to get better at beat making or mixing and mastering be sure to click on the link down in the description below i've started doing teaching in one-on-one -on -one sessions with other producers and engineers so feel free to check that out and let's lock in i'm doing reduced rates for this month of february so so hit me up if you're interested also i just started a discord server so feel free to join that in the description as well let's try to get that place popping and who knows i might start dropping some melody kits and stuff in there so let's get started so hack number one for making top beats is using reference songs or reference beats i am all the time comparing my beats that I make to other producers beats and other songs and I can't stress how important enough this is to kind of understand and figure out how to truly make these beats so I challenge you to pick five to ten beats from songs that you really love and make a list of them right now this is one thing that really helped me when I first started making beats as it really allowed me to train my ear and figure out different sounds and patterns used as well as rhythms and arrangement now this leads us right into hack number two reverse engineering and recreating your favorite beats so I've got a few examples of previous beats I have already made here. This one is called Realist. When I made this, I had the Glock song from nothing in mind. At that time, I'd really been bumping that song and, and I really wanted to figure out how that sound was made and make something like it. So I, of course, started at the same tempo as that beat, 125 BPM, and I recorded my own guitar progression for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you. I'm not gonna play his song from nothing. So if you wanna check that out on your own, go ahead just so you understand the context of this beat here. So it's pretty easily to pick up on that this was inspired by that song, primarily by this piano right here. And from nothing, there's a piano that's playing a little bit faster, but it's the same notes throughout the entire sample, as well as having an organ sound in it. And doing this little run right here. Also, another thing to note is the little snare feel I did here. So I would consider this a key Glock type beat. I mean, it sounds just like something he would use, but it doesn't sound exactly like that original beat. Typically when I'm kind of remaking and making my own beats, the two biggest things I look at are tempo and the song key. And I find tempo to be really the biggest determinant of does this sound like this artist when you're trying to recreate one of their beats. So example number two here is my beat called Vibe. I wanted to turn this one into a Big X the Plug type beat and I was very successful in doing so. So I made this one out of a Splice Melody Loop at 116 BP and this is what the original loop sounded like. <laughs> I was really into Big X The Plug at the time and I was making several Big X The Plug type beats and this melody really caught my ear and I knew I could turn it into something crazy. So I did a lot on this one. I did a lot of filter automation to really progress the beat and give it a different vibe because the melody was just identical throughout the whole thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and play it and then we'll break it down. My hi-hats went crazy on this one. <laughs> So this one sounded really good. Just some things that I noticed in a lot of his beats at that time. They had some kind of really crazy hi-hat work. So 
So I wanted to try to replicate that as best as I could. One thing I also noticed was all of the percussion drum sounds in his beats. So they really added to that bounce and especially the crash symbol I used as well as the 808 here. This was one of my most favorite beats I made last year. And I believe this was one of my better efforts at a top beat. I believe I've greatly captured Big X's style and vibe as well as the arrangement and sound of a lot of his music. Lastly, I wanna show one more beat really quickly before we get into making our own top beat. This one's called Loyalty. I made this one back in August of 2022. I was going back through, really listening to a lot of Chris Brown stuff. And if you didn't know, this one producer named Nick Knack, he kind of ran the scene from about 2014 to 2016 with a lot of the pop stuff he's had all kinds of numerous hits between chris brown's loyal uh came to do which i kind of based this one off of dj cal is no brainer i mean he's he's had all these sort of kind of like club pop west coast type beats so i took genuine inspiration from this song i went as far as throwing the song here into the session for my arrangement and as you'll hear the instrumentation is very very influenced by this song everything from the sound i used for a little lead synth to the arrangement and the drums themselves are all inspired by this song here so I would consider this a 2014 Chris Brown type beat, I guess. This drop right here is one of my most favorites I've ever made. So I want you to notice a couple things in this. The melody sounds themselves really sound like something from this era, of course. So let's just listen to the chorus sounds here. This sign lead sound here, especially. Also, when I made this beat, it felt like I was making more of a song than a beat, which is a whole different topic I'm gonna make a video on sometime. But especially then, the beats were a little bit more diverse in their arrangement and the effects and stuff. So this little riser here and then transition really helped to set it apart. Also, I want to point out my drums for the drop here, the hi-hat especially, and especially the chant here I have going back and forth. So one thing I hope you're picking up on on this is that I'm trying to keep everything still individualized and unique. One thing I've always kind of struggled with is always been getting it to still sound unique and not just a blatant ripoff of the original song. And I think you can easily achieve that by different chords, different sound selection, and making some different adjustments within your own arrangements. So this kind of directly leads into hack number three, which is take the song you're wanting to mirror and literally bring it into your session and work on remaking the beat. So all this being said, I'm going to go ahead and make a top beat right now in front of you just to show you my process and how I go about doing things. One thing I forgot to mention as well is watching deconstructed videos on YouTube of different popular songs. Uh, that's also helped me quite a bit to figure out different sounds and progressions and stuff that I might not have picked up otherwise. That being said here, I'm going to go for a Gunna type beat. I've not made one in a minute. And one thing I'm starting with is an acoustic guitar. So I'm going to look up Gunna here on Toombat. It's one of my favorite resources to use for this sort of stuff. And as we can see, it's on 130... 140, 145. A lot of his stuff is a little bit on that slower side. So let's start at 140 and we might raise or lower the tempo as we get into it.
think running everything through a guitar rig has made it sound so much better. Now if you notice here, I'm using several wheezy sounds. That's one big part to making type beats that sound like the artist is using similar or same sounds that their producers use. All right, let's go ahead and listen to the full beat. enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you out and gave you some advice and techniques to work on getting better at making whatever type beat you want to make. Thank you all for watching. My name is CJ aka Jink. Once again, if you are interested in doing some of my one-on-one -on -one producer training, be sure to click on the link down below in the description or DM me on Instagram. Also, don't forget about the Discord link. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. I've got a goal of hitting 1,000 subs by the end of the month of February, so I'm not sure when this will come out. Hopefully soon after I'm recording it. So yeah, help me get to 1K subscribers and I might have a surprise for you all. Thank you all for watching. My name is CJ aka C Jink. Have a good whatever time of day you're watching this and God bless.